welcome my friends to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me see who is joining with, with us today here. Just let me check a quick check here. Hello, Tick, Vela, Rene. Hello, Rene. Um, hello, Vela. Uh, hello, Ariadna. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Hello, Down Second Host. And everybody else that's gonna join us today. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. So, today we're gonna start a new lesson, all right? And I wanna share with you here my screen already about the Vectorize Club. If you don't know what the Vectorize Club is, right now you can join the club if you want to get access and complete access to everything that we build on here. We have already more than 279 lessons okay and i have completed just four <laughs> can you see i have i have completed just four here my friend because i'm logged as my student account so <laughs> very great to know that and what we're gonna do today let, let me just uh, give you a quick introduction about what we're gonna do uh first of all guys uh my girlfriend sarah uh, made some awesome ai concept designs she generated some images like these ones by using you know intelligence artificial you know and yeah i i i look at this and i was thinking would it be very great if we got some references like this to build up our design you know so i got main ideas about create something uh related to this and it was a very great uh way to see she doing that and she did that by using a discord channel that's called let me find here the name i'm gonna just open here just hold on a sec meet me journey is called and basically you can generate uh, images by using ai let me open here okay so i'm not going to generate here my side because uh it can take uh, a bit of time you know to render and select the images but the results that uh, you can generate it is very nice can you see here there are other people's that is it is generating the images and you know <laughs> when we think that artificial intelligence could generate images we perhaps may think oh my gosh uh, what about in the future if the artist will be replaced by you know ai and <laughs> this is something that some people can be scared, but I would say that you don't need to worry about this uh, because, you know, the only way that we can perform as the sentimental ways, it is by the human's feelings, which is very nice. And can you guys see my screen? Uh, just let me know here, all right? Which is very great. And there are other channels here, but basically you need to create an, an account and uh, type here a prompt so this AI is gonna generate yeah, for you uh, some images, four images, then you can uh, polish it. But as I, I want to tell you, this is a very nice way to explore different uh, approaches of art, all right? But this will not replace the way that you study art, all right? Just to let you know. So for now, I want to, to develop some characters similar to this, but that case, I want to be you know more creative, that case, um, to become let's say drawing exercise i want i want to bring here more drawing exercise with you and you guys can see right now my screen this one all right and look recently i've been practicing more drawings so i've been a bit let's say ah, i stop it by drawings because of my work and all the many things that i usually do here but it's very good to have a sketchbook and i want to bring uh, an exercise for you guys that you can even create more art like I like to do okay and you can take any any references that you have in your mind to create with me in that case I really like this the design here that I got and I will try here with you to draw some couple of them okay so I want to see you guys uh, doing this as well as your exercise okay so for now, I'm gonna grab 
I'm gonna grab this paper because I want to release more my freedom of drawing and if you ask me right now okay John why you like uh, to draw more on the paper compared to the let's say procreate or digital art I need to be honest with you I like to draw more on, more on paper because I can release more my creativity if you go only on the digital somehow I feel personally I feel stuck when I create on digital so what I like to do it is to set a time can you see here my I have here a timer in my hands where I can place just one or two minutes according to the design that I'm creating but for now I will just create for one minute okay we're gonna just create some exercises here one minute counting now so let's try here to create some sort of a character here I want to to make some drawings I don't know if you guys can see where but I will try to to make it this to be simple okay I'm creating here a character can be a sort of a deaf guy you know his small hands later I'm gonna use the ink in order to vectorize in traditional skills okay so can you see it's quite rough the design that I'm doing here just to have the idea I can make him holding a sort of let's say uh, yeah drawing like this so one minute has gone already so I got this quick result in just one minute okay can you see so I will try to draw one more here because I want to to create more one minute this time I'm gonna make it in perspective okay let's see I'm drawing the shape then his head somehow I'm getting you know shadows here I don't like but yeah, here we go so very quick design here And add some sort of a hat there we go I will draw this is supposed to be quick okay one minute is coming alive in five three two one go I will draw more so I will try to draw at least four of them okay well, one more one minute and there you go try to think in different uh, perspective so this is what I'm doing okay I'm a bit quiet because I'm concentrated over here right I can draw now after you draw let's say the, f the first two the third one becomes even easier so I can draw him holding something like a staff a scythe staff like this <laughs> looks nice you can see it's supposed to be cute and nice Uh, look how nice is this one <laughs> yeah one minute has gone now I really love this one as well oh well, look just a very quick drawing let's do one more oh, look can you see guys what are we, we are doing right now it is just a quick exercise to practice drawing okay it's not to be it's not supposed to be perfect it's not supposed to be oh my gosh to be a, a da Vinci art It's supposed to have quick drawings exercises the only way to let's say impulse more your creativity to boost more your creativity is by creating It's not just by copying it, it, it is to analyze the reference abstracting your interpretation and bring this in your hands okay you don't need to have 
drawing skills to do what I'm doing right now. Can you see? I mean, I don't have big drawing skills. No, <laughs> my my best skill is vector. All right, that's why I want to be here. Um, look here. I will add one more one here. Well, it's very small. Can be let's say here. I don't have a lot of space. Unfortunately, let me just flip to another page. This time I'm gonna draw bigger. Oh, here, his head, air heads. Here we go. Here, here, here. Okay. So I can draw. Very rough. Oh, in just 30 seconds, I got this result already. I can make him and uh, like open with his hands. <laughs> Uh, very quick focusing in what in my case I'm focusing on just to draw the lines just to get the results here yeah there we go I got this result already and now it's time for now I'm gonna make the ranger right now I got this four sketches in four minutes which is great for now and now I can just polish this using my ink. This is ink. So imagine this is a vector, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna just uh, just place one unit again for me here, my hands. Just hold on a sec. Uh, let me just go here. Oops, I'm just trying to set up here. Ah, there you go. Okay, good. And then I will draw here these catches oh, look how nice is this <laughs> oh, the first one is ready. Nice. I will now just in thirty seconds. I've make I've made <laughs> the the vector of this. Now next one, let's do this one. In the left side. I'm gonna make the eyes bigger. Oh, look. There you go. I can add some details here with this time that I got. There you go. Nice. Now let's do here this one. I like this most, but oh, I'm gonna set more one minute. We're not going to finish everything today, just to let you know. We are just focusing here on the concept art stage. Okay, good. Now let's, let's vector this one. This is going to be more the important one. I really like this one. I'll make it like this. And yeah. Then the eyes gonna be bigger. You see? All right. It's gonna be holding this weapon. I will create just some couple of details here, like this, fine. Huh? Oh. 
can be a sort of rope. There we go. I will paint a little bit here. I really like this. Yeah. No details at all, just the outlines. It's fine. Great. The last one. I don't need I don't think that this is necessary because it's quite similar to this. So now what I'm gonna do it is to send this to digital art. Okay. <laughs> so that case you can send from your mobile phone. Let me just Hold on a sec. Ah, let's see. Ah, I don't have mobile phone, John. What I can do? You can bring your iPad and then you can go here. Let me just unlock my. Okay. Let me open the camera. Now the camera is here. And then I will just take the photo from this guy here. Oh, look. Just hold on a second. There we go. Good. Oh, it's here. Can you see? Ah, oh, it's here. And then what I need to do, click here on top, this icon, the share icon, cop photo, cop photo, it's here, can you see? And then open Affinity Designer or whatever app you want. I'm gonna create a new project. I don't need this anymore. Then I will create a new project in the device. There you go, good. Hold here on the screen and paste. <clears throat> Look at this. It's here. Nice. Okay. And then now it's time to do what? The vectorize, my friend. <laughs> okay. So, of course, we can fix the details later, but the point is to make the vector of this. I will resize the, the, the canvas here a little bit. Let me just place a background to make it more soft. I don't like to uh, work in 100% white screen because it bothers my eyes. I take a lot of brightness. It makes your eyes a bit tired. Okay, now I'm gonna re uh, reduce the opacity like this. And then it's time to, let me lock this, lock. When, when you lock, you basically, you don't move this by accident, which is very good, all right? And now it's time to do the vectorize. Now create a new vector layer and there we go. Um, the first thing that I really like to do uh, it's to create the outlines or you can decide to go to the just the silhouette if you want, right? In that case, let's do here. Well, I'm gonna just set up the, the pencil that I'm gonna use. Look. I will just use for now this color. Let's see. Oh, there's a line here. I'm setting up right now everything. Oh, I have a line. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna just use here the fill. Oh, look. I have then a line with fill mode turn it on. Okay. Nice. And then it's time to do the vector here. I will do this by this oh look falling here with the sculpture mode turn it on I'm drawing the body okay there you go until here is fine let me fix the shape good right now I did just the silhouette of the body nothing more than this and right now I will do the arms Gonna be something like this. Oh, look, another here. There you go. Look <laughs> how nice it's becoming. If I hide this is the result for now, okay. Later we, we will focus on the details. Let's do here this shape. I'm gonna use the paint tool because it is more. Uh, straight line, so. Think about that when you are creating a vector here as well. I can create a low poly technique like this. Select and convert this to smart. There you go. Look, 
nice result and here we go I create now a new shape on top just like that good let's give you a bit of color inside I'm gonna fill up this with gonna be this color for now this one okay good uh, look we got already the the full silhouette now I can go with the inner details which is the shape that's going to be applied inside of the silhouette all right simple like that I'm gonna grab here a white color for now like this yeah and then oops I will just draw this area look then and then close here there we go let's paint this in this color like that good okay nice after that I'm going to insert some others inner shapes to do that let me just uh, there you go good changes to black and I will make this shape boom there we go here as well pencil tool and create this shape close it good another one is here it is quite organic can you see some I really love <laughs> these sketches that I make because there are some let's say happy accidents that happens and it makes very organic the design I really like that ah, good ah, look uh, so far we got this result <laughs> now let's just make this in more details here inside can you see here we got this shape you can just draw this one I'm gonna draw this by doing that look at this here one shape let me make this brighter mm, can be yellow like that okay can you see that I did this shape here and I'm gonna continue this uh, look at this I will follow this to make our rope line art here as well close it and bring this over here ah nice very nice look ah nice isn't it quite simple we are just creating the small shapes ah boom 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 <laughs> From the very beginning, since this sketch, we are just creating the vector right now. Quite simple, right? Pencil tool, right now, I will add the small hands. And be a sort of a bone. <laughs> very cute bone. Like this. And then, let me hide a little bit more. This area the arms over here can add these fingers oh, I will draw one by one because I didn't like this so much I will draw this just like that one I'm gonna open this more and close this and another one here look as it is quite small you need to be very careful with the the uh, outlines which is very big like this is fine okay hey guys I'm not looking at this moment a lot on the shot so I apologize but you can leave your questions when I'm looking <laughs> let me just now look at this duplicate and resize uh, duplicate and resize Ah, can you see? <laughs> nice, isn't it? 
small hands I will just let's make this more here with this line art oh. <clears throat> let me drink my water my throat it is very dry today I don't know why I hope it is not a flu I'll increase this oh, it's becoming very nice I'm gonna change this color for now I'm not uh, caring a lot about the colors at this moment it's just more about the shapes all right this is my my thing right now that I'm doing <clears throat> and then guys I will just insert inside and draw a shape that's gonna represent what is inside here or oh, like that so it's like this fine here as well because it is too flat I don't like to to have too flat I like to have depth oh can you see nice <laughs> very nice uh, look uh, right now I will just let me adjust some details here the silhouette details can you see just like that <clears throat> I will add some colors, a bit better colors here. Let me fix the background first of all. Can be sort of night. If you make this too too dark, it's gonna be a bit hard to see. I can leave it this in purple. Like this, I think is good for now. And now about uh, the inner details that we are creating, we can add some line art. All right, uh, this style is gonna depend about in which style you want. If you want to have with outlines, that case we we will need to group everything that we got. Let me back here just to load and save. We got this result, and you can remove easily the outlines if you want. Okay, look at this. At this time. If you remove the outlines, you're gonna get this result with no outlines, of course. But let me back this because we can add here. Let's put that you are creating for stickers, you know, stickers like uh, Facebook stickers or Telegram stickers, things like that. And then you can add here, insert inside and draw some lines. These lines, pay attention, right? You can decide to go in two directions. Uh, two directions what I mean by directions it is not the direction of angles it is by the pressure like this if you want you can go in this way oh, let me back here and delete this line here oh. okay can you see oh. and then pencil tool and then you can draw more lines it needs to be draw here inside of this shape. Oh, look, can you see? Nice. And then let's draw more here. I'll draw here. In that case, I'll make this a bit soft. Oh, there you go. I would love to use a fin designer because I have control of the line art. If I if I'm using right now, oh look at this. If I if I try to do this on Procreate. Right now, I'm using Procreate. I tried to do this in Procreate, but I failed miserable, miserable. <laughs> because, okay, I did here the line art, all right, okay, but here we go. But if I want to change this, <laughs> I need to fix everything here, so I'm not very good on that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very good on this thing. I, li I like to use Vector because I can change the damn line art. <laughs> you know, can you understand me? Yeah, my friend, this is the, the thing here about the vectorize. <laughs> so, uh, look at this. I will make some lines here, uh, here, here. Oh, look nice. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my gosh, look how nice. I will draw some lines over here. 
Do you want to see more closely here? It's fine. What do you think? Or if you want to see, whoa, like that. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I will leave it like that, right? For you. But my my camera is covering too much. Let me reset. Ah! I'm too small here, my friend, but I'm still here. <laughs> Uh, yes, guys, I, I need to tell you, I think that it is very easy to use for, for you. If you don't have drawing skills, you can go here because you can manage the line. All right. Yeah, that's the deal. Drawing some lines. Here we go. Oh, look, nice. You see? <clears throat> I'm not starting to do the values, just some lines here. Let me resize the brush stroke. I'm using the pencil too, okay, in case that you are wondering what I'm doing here. Don't worry. I, I explain here everything that I'm using, okay? But keep in mind that you can join the club, the Vectorize Club, if you want to get a lot of tutorials and learn a lot. Oh, look, nice. Some line arts over here. This is how I do line arts. I create with pencil. In that case, I'm just here. Making the cloth foldings here. Yeah. Like this. Let me just. Ah, oh, things better now. Good. Now I've just created the line here inside of his body, right? That's fine for now. What I'm gonna do now, it is to add some details here inside. Oh, I can't do it that way. I'm not looking at any reference at this moment for this character. I'm just creating by my head from this cat that I did. I just have the you know, the concept art that I showed you today, the, the beginning of this life. I got this, and then I'll create some lines over here. Let's try to increase a bit. The size of it. Here we go. I'm not going to add a lot of lines here but let's do it that way for now and we're gonna bring this below okay this is the opacity is fine okay as you guys can see we made it all the lines there is no values over here uh if you don't know what is values i would i will explain to you how it works okay there is a technique that i like to explain to everybody that watch my tutorial Oh, nice. Let me just bring this line here. Let me delete this for now. That's great. A shadow below. Oh, there is a point about when you use vector, you're gonna get a lot of layers. Can you see here? A lot of layers. And to handle with that, you can just basically select and group everything. All right. It's not a big deal. Trust me is just to select the layers and then group everything. All right, this is how it works. Uh, grouping here the bones hands, I'm grouping. Okay, now. After you group, your your design becomes better readable on the layers. It's easy to work, easy to manage. It's so far good. I'm grouping everything here, it's fine. I like to, it's, it's my, the part of my job to organize the thing that I do because I save a lot of time. Oh, look, I'm just, it's its automatic, 100% automatic now. Oh, here I have the hands. Oh, look, you're going to see now oh, the hands. I can make this animation, basically. Let me hide the, hold on a sec. There's a mosquito here. <laughs> oh, look. I can make him woo, just like that. I'll turn on this button because I wanna. Oh look, woo! 
<laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, my friend. Values, it is related to this. This is a full silhouette, right? Nice. And then I will make it this in values. So you see what's happening here. Let's apply the color. Oh, hue, it's fine. These values. So the only shape that we have applied is here. Now it's time, my friend, to do the shadows and highlights, okay? So just to explain to you how it works, I like to explain, as always. You can think like that. So let's suppose that you have the this shape here. You have this one, one single color. The values, it is a scale like this. I have one, two scales. And then I'm gonna up more and more and more. With the more you do that, more detail is gonna be. Can you see? It is a flat scale. If you go to a gradient scale, it's gonna be just like that. Pay attention. Okay. In that way that we did here, there is uh, more information. Can you see the, this transition of colors is great more information this is what's happening right now so be careful uh, with the art style that you want to read uh, let's add here and then i like to do this exercise a lot because it helps me to to create a better composition so look oh, there you go oh, look in very few clicks i got this sphere result of course the shadow needs to be correct side <laughs> sometimes i got i got lost in the explanation <laughs> because I mean distracted but here we go uh, my goal my goal here it is to make it flat I think it's gonna be nice you can create the shadows by using if you want if you you really want uh, let me just turn off here this one you can go with, with the raster persona all right let me pick this color and paint here inside just to show you you can go in that way oh, look you can do this okay which is which is nice as well you can paint and there you go oh it's easier as well i will bring this below oh. okay remember that some shapes that is separated you need to paint this Ah, oh, just like that. You can go in that way. It's quite quick, right? Isn't it? Let's make this a bit lighter. I want to make this a bit lighter. Okay, like that. So when you use raster, of course you you lost the ability to change the color easily, like we usually do with vector, right? But in that case, you can basically erase. Let me erase the paintings. I use it to use uh, raster sometimes with Affinity. Tell me on the shot. Oh, look. So I've painted and then I'm just erasing. I really like this kind of process. It makes very nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a bit of highlight in the back. Yeah, quite simple the only thing that you cannot change the color here so easily I'm gonna show you how you can change later there you go I have this color I'm gonna change to the same that I've, I've applied over here and can you see it is not uh, matching why because it is separate layer in order to fix this you need to paint inside let's say insert inside here and then paint ah, there you go you need to paint below of the line art in case that you don't want to have problems. Oh, wait a second. Where is my... Okay. Here we go. I'm just repainting <laughs> the colors here. Good. I'm just applying here, guys. Look, I'm just applying some shadows, all right? It is the part of the process that I'm creating right now. And let me raise here. Ah, there you go. Okay. 
I'm gonna add here. I'll paint onto here like that, and there is. The secret about using raster, <laughs> I will tell you, it is ability to paint and erase, paint and erase. Why you need to erase? In order to give the form, all right? That's the case that you're gonna need to face. So let me just erase here. Here we go. Oh. Now it is blending well, okay, nice. This is what we want. Uh, right now let's add more, ah, here we go. Change the color, paint inside with the same color here. Here below, okay. Can you see it? there is this layer that needs to be applied above of it? Good. And then you just need to create the shadows. Let me do this resize here. There you go. Good. Ah, Arjajana said, uh, lately I've been using more raster for textures, etc. in details last stage. Ah, I like it too. I really enjoyed this process as well. Let's do here, uh, for now, some details on his face. It's not ready yet, okay, of course. Uh, we can do that by using raster this time. I'm gonna use my raster this time. I'm gonna pick up a color can be this a little shadow. Let's try this one. I like it. Oh, can you see I'm drawing a bit of shadow here? Here. Oh, very simple. So uh, you can think, all right, I can use vector just to make the the shapes, and then inside you can add details by painting, which makes your design very organic and nice, all right? Which is very great. So, one shadow here, let's add here inside, let me show you, I'm gonna just add, oh look, let's try to do this, add this, but I need to do the black color and try to, you can use the raster to do this line art if you want, like this, but remember that you need to use a good line art. I'm gonna use this one. Like this. Okay. Can do that way. Same on here. Search inside. And then I will just draw here. Bring this color and then paint here inside. Ah, look. Who said that you cannot <laughs> use raster here on the affinity? Oh, look, look, my line art is not so so good sometimes. I'll remake now. There you go. Whoa. There you go. Nice. Now I'll add a sort of, look at what I'm going to do. You can go with the vector and add a ellipse here inside. It's going to be this color for now, let's say. Ah, I like it, really like it. If you want to add some Gaussian blur, you can do that. Let's try to use the auto glow just to see how it looks in blue. Let's see. That's why sometimes I don't like to have this soft in, in a design that it's flat because it's draw a lot of attention, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I will keep with this Gaussian blur here inside. You can apply, but that case I will leave this as clean. Okay. Sometimes my eyes do doesn't accept <laughs> some, let's say, different aspects. I will add here. Oh, look. Looks nice, isn't it? Also, I will add, I can, I can do this, look at this. I will duplicate, bring this inside, and uh, I will paint this in this color. Why? I'm adding a bit of depth. Let's just resize the stroke here. Uh, that's cool. Uh, nice. Nice. 
<laughs> I always become this guy. Remember that we did this from very scratch? I don't know if you have watched this at the beginning. In the beginning we did this, all right? A lot of other sketches. And this design was created from my paper here. And there you go. <laughs> now uh, we add some shadows here. Just hold on a second. Ah, it's our inside. We add some lines. Let's try to add in this way. You see, pencil can be here like this. Oh, look, some wood aspect. You know, oh, like this. I like it. Here as well. Let's just make it like this. Insert inside and then add this. Good. Let's paint this raster as we are doing that. I'm gonna use this. There is the John Candy. I'm gonna use this. Remember that you guys can download my vector brushes on my Green Road. All the links and access it is available here on the description below. You can get after this live streaming. Ah, let's paint here a little bit. I'm gonna make this a bit flat. I like, I really love the lollipop brush. Ah. Here we go. I'll make it this in half color. I want to add that way, erase. And then look at this. Ah. Because this is a cylinder object. Okay. You need to keep in mind about this. You can add a highlight. I'm gonna add later more highlights here. Let's add in this way here. Nah, here, here. Ah, nice. Let's paint this. Let's paint this guy here. Remember that I did a shape over here. Look at this. Make it a bit dark. Can we like this? <laughs> Just a few seconds. I uh, will paint this with this texture, All right? Dark, and there we go. Can be a bit more purple, perhaps. Let's try to add to do this. And there is. Oh, look how nice it is. There is. There is. Yeah, I like it. Here, there is it below. Highlights, let's add more highlights in white, of course. Highlights, it is the very intense where the light bounce. Okay. Makes sense? I hope so. I'm gonna add here. Boom. Erase with the soft brush to add a scale of gradient. Can be a little bit like that. You can add more brush strokes over here. Let's see. Yeah. Let me erase. I like to to play around of this kind of effect just like that. Oh my gosh, we got 40 viewers here. Thank you guys so much. You are very welcome to be here. All right. Thank you so much. It's been a while, right? <laughs> isn't it? Okay, we got this result. Let's add more values. I'm gonna just add in white, a bit white. That's why I like to make some simple designs because I think it's bringing more attention sometimes to beginners. And let's add some highlights here below. I would just paint, just paint, just like that. Here we go. Uh, let's try to add here. Make it a bit dark, perhaps. Ah, you can resize, not resize, but reduce the opacity. Reduce, reduce the opacity and you are fine. And then you can go here. Let's add some lights. 
here. I'm just painting here. Yeah. Let's erase a little bit more. Erase. Just to have a few lights. There we go. Now I will clean up more the highlights that I did because when I paint <clears throat> I like to, to draw the shapes and then I just fix the lines. Just like this. Okay. Paint here. I'm gonna raise a bit more over here, this area. Here. To make the foldings of the cloth, cloth you know. <coughs> yeah, let me reduce this opacity. Just be just like that. Now, here inside. I'm gonna paint more some white. Quite simple, right? Oh, create a pixel layer here, bring below, and then paint. <clears throat> I need to paint it below. Of course, here. I can be here. Then I can add some. Some brush strokes over here. Let's erase right now. This one? Oh, look. Oh, we had some brush strokes in white and erase a little bit. Just painting <clears throat> new raster inside. That's right here. Ah. Shadow is something that most beginners face a problem because we need to see where the light is coming from. So imagine where the light is coming from and then you, you're gonna have a better result with shadows. All right, that's just gonna paint. Let me reduce this, this opacity, oh, it's fine. Okay, like this, with shadow. The yeah, my friend. Let's add a bit of shadow below of this character. Can be an ellipse. No. Needs to be very below, okay. Dark. Like this. If you want to make this as a sticker, what do you need to do? Tell me. You can go in this direction right now. Let me show you. Let's just bring this curve inside of this piece. Hold on a sec. Ah, but John, I want to remove the outlines. Yeah, my friend, you can do this very easily. You can just select the layer and then swipe up, and then you're gonna get nice results as well if you want. But in that case, we are just adding, let's make this a bit more in blue. A little bit subtle by subtle like this. I'm gonna add just the last extra light in the very background. You're gonna see a very nice effect right now. Look at this. 
using the John vector brushes right now. We can use the John standard from the marvelous vector brushes. Now, insert inside. Let's pick up this color here. And there we go. Boom. This is the magic, my friend. This is boom time. <clears throat> vector brush. And then, whoa, boom. Here we go. Don't stop. We are just finishing here. Polishing more the design. And boom. Oh, look. Here we go. And here as well. Yeah. If you want to add a little bit shadow, actually. That's case shadow. Look at this. Inside. I'm gonna place this here. Whoa. And what? Transparency. Okay, and change this curve. Then apply here with the shadow here. Vector brushes being applied with you. I don't need to add ah I need to I want to add here as well because I wanna give more attention to this one. Start inside and boom. Ah, just like this. Start inside here as well. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Outline in white. We have a sticker right now, guys. Okay. Good. Very simple. I hope that you guys enjoyed this process. Very quick process, right? Very simple for beginner. If you are a beginner, you can do that. I'm sure about this. This live streaming will not be available if you don't watch. If you are not on the Vectorize Club, I usually delete the, the videos here. You can see other lessons here that uh, is not available anymore. Okay, so there we go. We got this result. So do this exercise for this week. Next week, we're going to do more stickers, all right? This month, upcoming month, we're going to focus in stickers. That's great. I want to see more suggestions, all right? We can explore more. Uh, how much are they? Ah, it's free. I don't sell stickers. <laughs> so there you go. We got uh, stickers from scratch. If you guys remember, I did this. Where is the? Ah, here. Yeah. Ah. Here you go, my friend. Oh, just hold on. Oh, this was this guy that I did. Ah, this one. <laughs> uh, this one I didn't like so much, but this one it was the one selected. So, yes, again, try to manage to handle with a quick sketches. Later, you polish it on Vector because Vector is quite simple and easy. Oh my gosh, thank you, Anto, 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 for the donation. You know, it means a lot. It support this channel, you know. <laughs> I want to thank you. Let me increase my... Thank you, Anto. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Uh, I still need to study more about how to add stickers to Telegram, but it should be not very difficult. I need to just study more how it works. But remember that if you want to animate this later, you can woo, animate this easily, you know, by doing this. Yeah. Oh, like this. You can make. Oh, that's why my friend like to use vector. <laughs> <laughs> Just matter of second, I can change everything here. <laughs> yeah, my friend, look at this. Oh, look at this. Uh, okay, there you go. Okay, uh, uh, there you go. Uh. Foop. <laughs> nice, nice. I hope that you guys really like it. All right. So that's it. I want to thank you. Let me see who is the shot because I haven't placed it. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, paid a lot of attention on the chat. So thank you, Rene, Down, Sigurdhurst, Ariadna, everybody else. 
and dance sand. Hey, hi everybody. <laughs> Are you late? You need to watch this again, my friend. So yeah, that's it. You guys can go and do this exercise. Oh, right now I'm gonna copy this. Oh, I've just copied it and I will open Telegram. Let me open here Telegram. Just where is Telegram? Vectorized clip is here. And then I will just let's see if I can paste. Ah, I will I'll send by here image. Ah, there you go. Let me just group. You guys from the vectorized club will, ha will have access to this sketch in order to vector this, okay? If you don't want to make the sketch. <laughs> so please do the sketch. Or if you want, you can just... Ah, the nice thing with the telegram is that I can basically change. Oh, I'm improving more the quality for you. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh. I love telegram because of this. I can edit my design so easily here before i send to you i will send to you right now and boom this is the exercise my friend okay ah happy birthday down is the birthday of the uh, down okay happy birthday my friend thank you he's from the club he's he's your gift uh, down it is this design that <laughs> you can vector <laughs> okay all right my friend thank you so much and see you the next week because this is the vectorize i teach you the best and easiest way to create everything that you want with your film designer okay trust me see you and bye bye take care